Hello friends, welcome to PharmaChem Insights. Today we will see interview question and answers on Malvern particle size analyzer. So let's get started. First question, what is the principle of Malvern particle size analyzer? It works on the principle that when a beam of light, a laser, is scattered by a group of particles, the angle of light scattering is inversely proportional to the particle size. That is, the smaller the particle size, the larger the angle of light scattering. Next question. What is the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000 used for? The Malvern particle size analyzer 3000 is used to measure the size distribution of particles in a sample, which is important for understanding material properties and behavior. Next question, what measurement techniques does the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000 use? It primarily uses laser diffraction to measure particle size. What is the size range that the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000 can measure? It can measure particles in the range of 0.01 microns to 3500 microns. Next question. How does laser diffraction work in particle size analysis? Laser diffraction measures the angular variation in intensity of light scattered as a laser beam passes through a dispersed particulate sample with larger particles scattering light at smaller angles. Can the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000 measure both wet and dry samples? Yes, it can measure both wet and dry samples. Next question. What kind of samples can be analyzed using the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000? It can analyze a variety of samples including powders, suspensions, emulsions and aerosols. Next question. Is the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000 suitable for nano size particles? Yes, it can measure nano size particles, particularly those down to 0 0.01 microns. Next question How long does it take to perform a measurement with the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000? Measurement time can vary but typically ranges from a few seconds to a few minutes. Next question, what is the principle behind the software used in the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000? The answer is, the software uses me scattering theory and Fraunhofer approximation for calculating particle size distribution from the scattered light data. Next question, can the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000 provide real-time monitoring? Yes, it can provide real-time particle size monitoring for process control applications. What is the typical sample volume required for analysis with the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000? The answer is, the required sample volume can vary but is typically in the range of few milliliters for wet dispersion or a few grams for dry dispersion. Next question, what kind of maintenance does the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000 require? Routine maintenance include cleaning the optical components, ensuring proper alignment, and regularly calibrating the system. Can the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000 be used for quality control in manufacturing? Yes, it is widely used for quality control in various manufacturing processes to ensure product consistency. Next question, what is the importance of particle size distribution in industries? 
particle size distribution affects product performance, stability, appearance, and processability in industries like pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, chemicals, and food. Next question. How does the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000 handle data analysis? The software provides detailed data analysis including statistical representation, distribution graphs, and trend analysis. Next question. What is the difference between D10, D50, and D90 in particle size analysis? So, answer is D10, D50 and D90 are percentiles in the particle size distribution. These are statistical parameters that can be read directly from the cumulative particle size distribution. They indicate the size below which 10%, 50% and 90% of all particles are found. Can the Malvern particle size analyze the 3000? measure particle shape. The primary function is to measure particle size. However, additional accessories or techniques may be required to analyze particle shape. Is training required to operate the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000? Yes, training is recommended to understand the instrument's operation, data interpretation and maintenance. Next question. What industries commonly use the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000? Common industries include pharmaceuticals, ceramics, minerals, plastics, and food and beverages. What is the function of the dispersion unit in the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000? The dispersion unit ensures that particles are evenly distributed in the sample medium, preventing agglomeration and enabling accurate measurements. How does the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000 ensure the accuracy of its measurement? Accuracy is ensured through proper calibration, regular maintenance, and adherence to standardized measurement procedures. The system also uses advanced algorithms and software to process the data accurately. Next question. Can the Malvern particle size analyzer 3000 measure particle concentration? While it primarily measures particle size, some models can also estimate particle concentration within the sample. Next question. What is the role of Me theory in Malvern particle size analyzer 3000? Me theory is used to calculate particle size distributions from the scattering pattern of light, especially for particles in the sub-micron range. Thank you. I hope you like the video. Please like, share and subscribe my videos and also show your support in the comment section. And do let me know if you want to cover any topic related to pharma chemistry interview question and answers.